Hello, in this video I want to quickly go over the overclock settings that I'm using for my RTX 2080 Ti GPUs while mining Flux. I have two RTX 2080 Ti's and both of them can do over 90 solutions per second, but here I just want to quickly show you what settings I'm actually using because I find these are quite a bit more efficient than what other people are using online. So for the first card, this is an Asus Strix RTX 2080 Ti, it has really good cooling like the heatsink is really nice and large the second card that i have is a gigabyte aorus which isn't as good as cooling so i'm running it a little bit lower but anyways the first card consistently getting over 95 solutions per second uh, the temperatures are really good at the moment uh, but what we have here for settings is 165 core offset 1600 megahertz for memory and a 200 and 20 power limit. I see a lot of people online running a higher power limit. What I found is you don't actually, for some GPUs, yes, you do need a higher power limit, but you want to find that sweet spot. For Flux, just giving more power to the core doesn't always improve your hash rate, so it's kind of finding a balance where you have, you're giving the card enough power where you're getting a high solutions per second, but you're not using like 250 watts. So for this card, I could bump the power limit up to 250 watts, but I'm not going to be getting that much more solutions per second. Also, not to mention it's summer, so I have to keep the temperatures lower. But that's for the first card. The second card, which is running 10 degrees hotter because the cooler is not as good, uh, we're getting around 93.4 solutions per second. Power limit set to 215. And for core offset, we have 170 and memory clock of 1400. So that's personally what I'm running on my RTX 2080 Ti's. If we go to Hive Shell here, uh, you can see under the Mini Z Miner, getting around, obviously the solutions per second uh, fluctuates, so the first RTX 2080 Ti being Asus fluctuates between 95 and 94.4 solutions per second, and the second GPU actually does a little better here. It says 94 solutions per second, and it fluctuates a little bit. I mean, that's really normal with the Flux algorithm. One thing to keep in mind is your core clock, so if you use these same settings and you're not getting the same solutions per second, you you may need to increase your power limit because flux is really dependent on the core clock so you can see here my asus gpu running around 1710 1750 megahertz on the core versus my second rtx 2080 ti is sitting a lot lower 1665 1695 1650 so it's quite a few megahertz lower hence why we're running a lower solutions per second but anyways that's going to wrap up our video here one thing you may also want to keep in mind is that if you are mining during the summer, that temperatures are probably going to get a lot hotter going forward. And that's where, yes, if you push these cards really hard, you can get 97, 98, 99 solutions per second. However, you'll be getting, you'll be putting a lot more power through the card, which will make it run even hotter. So if the temperatures continue to go up here where I live, I will be down clocking these cards down to 90 solutions per second, probably around that 210. 205 power limit area until my temperatures are in check and that's kind of my priority for summer temperatures then hash rate all right guys if you have any questions along the lines of if you have any better settings you'd want to recommend in terms of efficiency you're more than welcome to reach out in the comment section below otherwise i wish you all the best with mining take care